Are you willing to wait for God's plan to be fulfilled in your life? A blessed day, dear brothers and sisters. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. There is always something that we are waiting for. As God's servants, we wait for the Lord for His order, or what He is about to say. In Couples for Christ, we have a lot of servants, missionaries who are making themselves available to serve the Lord. We are blessed not only with full-time missionaries as individuals and couples, but even as whole families dedicating their lives to serve the Lord. One of our full-time missionary families, Brother Tox and Sister Chikarimoho, together with their very young kids, Seth and Jesse, are now deployed in Seychelles, an African country in the Indian Ocean region. Tox is from Southern Leyte, while Chika is from Surigao del Norte, Philippines. They both started doing full-time missionary work in 2005 for the ministry of CFC Youth for Christ. They got married in 2012. Since missionary deployment to other countries are not only for individuals but also for couples, they already dreamt of being deployed to international mission after getting married. But this dream did not happen right away. They have been assigned to other ministries including CFC Singles for Christ, CFC Evangelization and Missions Office, and the most recent in CFC Evangelization Decision Support Analytics Department, where they are serving as mission area pastoral workers. After waiting for many years for the opportunity to be deployed in the international mission for almost 10 years, they thought that their dream would never happen anymore but they continue to serve the Lord faithfully wherever they are assigned. In 2022, they were asked to discern if they were open to be deployed to Seychelles together with their kids. They were surprised by how the Lord has been orchestrating things by granting the desires of their heart for mission. They waited for another year for the processing of their family visa, which was somehow unusually long compared to previous experiences of former missionaries. But after a long wait, God's time for their family to be deployed on mission finally happened last July, 2023. Blessed indeed are those who wait on the Lord. In our Gospel today from Luke chapter 12, verses 35 to 38, Jesus reminded his disciples about the need for servants to be found faithful in waiting and to be vigilant. There are many traits of a servant which Christ is teaching his disciples, and perhaps to be found faithful in waiting and to be vigilant are important virtues that can also help us grow in our submission to the Lord. Patience, humility, obedience, and trusting anticipation to His will. Waiting is one of the hardest things to do for many, if not for all. Thus, the famous phrase, waiting is a virtue, is a reminder for all who are waiting. The Jesuit priest Henry Nguyen said, Waiting time is not wasting time. Waiting patiently in expectation is the foundation of the spiritual life. Let us wait on the Lord. Let us be vigilant. Who knows, waiting on the Lord might just be the most productive activity that He has been expecting each one of us to do at a particular time of His will while He is orchestrating things that will bless us and those that He entrusted to us. 
Let us pray. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, thank you for calling us to be your servants. Thank you for teaching us many things so we can grow and improve in serving you. May you give us the grace to be found faithful in waiting and to be vigilant, ready to serve you with all that we are and all that we have. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless our families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.